I bought a new watch. Sun 2 Black Red, Red Devil. Absolutely amazing watch. I'll unbox it now. It's one of those GPS style watches. Absolutely fantastic. Really, really, really nice piece of kit. Really, really nice. GPS, altimeter, barometer, compass. Really, really cool. <laughs> Just kidding. We're not a watch review channel. I wouldn't do that to you. Although, time is a massive, massive deal in today's vlog. Time. Time is absolutely massively critical when you're vlogging and you're working at the same time. It's so difficult to fit both those two things into the same sort of time scale. Vlogging on the other on one hand is, is quite camera intensive, it's quite performance intensive, so you've got to kind of like think about what it is that you're doing first before you start even attempting it. And then on top of that, you've got work to do as well. And you've got a job to keep hold of and you've got money to earn, etc, etc. And it can be quite difficult, it can be quite daunting to try and get that into some kind of perspective. It is, it is paramount that you start to try and plan what you're going to do throughout the course of your month, each month, to try and gauge what it is that you're going to do and how you're going to do it and how you're going to plan and execute all your vlogs and all your your um, your footage to a degree that is just like well basically you've got to kind of like you've got to kind of like plan everything you need to plan up front and then execute it alongside working which is a massive massive deal and a massive uptake um, and a massive amount of stuff that needs to be done in quite a short time scale take me for instance I tend to try and upload on a Tuesday and a Friday, um, sometimes it's a Saturday, sometimes it's a Sunday, depending on what it is that I'm doing, but overall the majority of the time I'll do Tuesdays and Fridays. So I work full time, um, so I've got to get home on a Tuesday and I've got to have planned what I'm going to do, I've got to shoot some of that stuff on a Saturday or a Sunday in order to be able to maintain what I need to do. Um, to get the footage I need to get in order to be able to talk about what I'm talking about um, or if I've got a day off then I'll do like today for instance it's Friday today and I finished at lunchtime so the first thing I do is get straight home get changed get sorted out freshen up a little bit and then boom straight out at it but I've got a plan I've got an idea of what it is that I'm going to shoot I've got sort of a diary with all the kind of subjects that I want to talk about with all the sort of things that I desperately want to discuss with you guys and then um, basically try and execute that as quickly and efficiently as I possibly can in the time scale that I have um, and yeah it is it is massively difficult it is not an easy thing to do um, but the key to the whole thing here is planning you need to know what you've got to do when you've got to do it and how you're going to do it and you have to have that in your head so that when you get started, it's a paint by numbers situation where you know you need this B-roll. You know you've got to take B-roll of a skateboard because I'm on a skateboard. I know I've got to talk about vlogging with work and I've got to show that there's time involved, hence the, the introduction. Um, and it's just one of those situations where not being planned will always mean that you look at your video and you think that could have been better than what it actually was. It could have been easier, it could have been much, much simpler for me to fix and to film, but because I didn't, I ended up struggling with what I was doing. And you know, when that happens and when that is, when that does happen and you have to do something off the cuff and quite sort of ad hoc, that's fine to do. 
providing you've got straight in your head what it is you're going to do and how you're going to do it and then you can go out and execute it really simple but because you've not got all the time in the world and you're not very windy here um, and you're not able to just pop out whenever you like and you're not able to just get on with the job because you've got other things to do like a job or you know anything really any any kind of even a family thing you've got something to do because you haven't got the ability to be able to just drop everything and go and do it you have to make sure that everything you do is understood by yourself what you're going to say how you're going to say it when you're going to say it and then do your very best and utmost to get that message across in the least amount of time with the most amount of professionalism that you possibly can. So executing your B-roll as best you possibly can, getting the, the right shot as quickly as you can, um, and then getting it put out. Because then on top of that, obviously, you've got to factor in the fact that you need to do a thumbnail, you need to upload it, you've got to tag it, you've got to do what you need to do to make sure that it, it's discoverable on YouTube. And, and then on top of that, then you've got to promote it with Twitter and Instagram and so on. And you need to factor all those things in to that one vlog. And you need to do that for every single vlog that you do so that you get the best out of it and your audience gets the best out of your vlog. Um, and they get to take something away from it and it's just not an incoherent ramble, so to speak. Um, and with that, I hope this hasn't been an incoherent ramble and that it's given you some insight into how to vlog and to hold down a job at the same time. Um, and the key takeaway from all that that I've said is organization. It's organization and then understanding what it is that you're wanting to get across to you guys. What do I want to get across to you? What do I want you guys to know about? What do I want you guys to think about from watching my vlog? And getting that across, but planning that out so that you know what that is in advance. And that will make it easier for you to vlog whilst working. Hope you enjoyed this. Hope it was great. I enjoyed it. It was lovely to see you all again. And I will see you guys next time.